guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Boy, we've got a really jam-packed episode today. Lots of really cool stuff going on in the supercar community. We've got people that are thinking about getting into vlogging. We've got people that were vlogging that are going to be doing something completely different. And we have some new stuff from one of the, uh, the, the newest creators in our automotive YouTube space. But our main story has to do with, well, you guessed it, Alex Choi, who uh, has been a little quieter as of late. I think we've only seen one or two videos of his on the Daily Driven Exotics channel and nothing from Alex Choi's own channel over the past four weeks. But we got kind of a cool surprise on his Instagram story just a couple days ago. So as you guys know, we talked about it a couple times before, Alex Choi is going to be getting a Tesla Model 3 sort of add to his little fleet of cars along with the, you know, the version 3 Unicorn, the Lamborghini Huracan the RS7, and uh, you know, he's got some other fun stuff too, the BMW M2. Lots of really fun cars in Alex Choi's collection. We didn't know if the Model 3 was going to be a replacement for the RS7 or not. That'd be kind of a weird replacement for me, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But we have something new to talk about that I thought you guys would really enjoy. So just a couple days ago, Alex Choi posted something on his Instagram account that literally, it was just a very simple poll, kind of cryptic, honestly. All it was was a poll asking Aventador SV or McLaren 720S. Now that poll by itself might not originally mean a lot to you guys, but I feel like Alex Choi is smart enough when it comes to unveiling things and sort of getting people excited about different things he's going to be doing. Think about how long of a buildup we had for the version three unicorn and the sort of the, uh, the craziness that went along with that reveal, that a question like that isn't necessarily like settling a bet with someone of which car they think is cooler, but maybe a car that he's going to be purchasing. Now the, the audience is 500,000, Instagram followers, I was pretty split down the middle. About 52%, at least at the time, wanted the Aventador SV, or I thought it was better, and about 48% thought the McLaren 720 was, I guess, the better car of the two. There was no context added to this particular Instagram poll. So this is kind of an interesting question, and I want to ask you guys what you think about it. Uh, do you think that Alex Choi is going to be purchasing or is looking to purchase his next supercar to sort of go along with the version 3 unicorn that he has? Obviously, Obviously that's a very crazy, crazy car, but maybe this is the next car he's going to be doing a crazy build on. As much as I love the Huracan, and I know that he has a version 4 Unicorn planned sometime in the future, he mentioned that a couple months ago, actually right after the version 3 Unicorn was released, maybe the version 4 Unicorn is actually going to be on a different car. Maybe the Aventador SV is going to be sort of the base for what they're going to be doing for whatever crazy build they're going to be doing next. And given how successful the version 3 Unicorn launch was, uh, I can imagine that either a McLaren 720 or an Aventador SV would be an absolutely insane platform to build on. Anyway, what do you guys think? And honestly, I guess with, with the poll that he asked about, would you rather see him get an Aventador SV or a McLaren 720S? Which car would be a better build for his upcoming stuff? Let me know in the comments, guys. On a separate note, I've got to mention this. Uh, it's Just a Six is getting into music. He has a very, very long video where he talks about all the different new stuff they're going to be doing. It's a kind of a cool video. I'm not going to try to summarize it here, make sure to go watch his entire video. But he's still going to be doing videos for It's Just a Six, but he's launched a second channel that's going to be promoting sort of their music that they're going to be doing. And it's worth a listen. I think the music is pretty good. It depends on what your sort of personal tastes and likes are for music, but I listened to it. I enjoyed it. Make sure to go check out It's Just a Six if you want to see the, the ever-changing versions of what they're going to be doing for their channel now. And in other news, Vehicle Virgins has a really fantastic video with uh, an older Corvette, the uh, destroying supercar version of that Corvette. It's, it's an insane build on this Corvette. And I'm not typically a Corvette fan, but if you listen to the way that that engine sounds, you guys are, I think you're probably going to fall in love with it. It's actually something that's made me consider getting something a little more American muscly for my daily driver, which I'm still searching for, but I'm, I'm very deliberate in how I look for my own cars. So I take a lot of time. I test drive tons of vehicles, probably too many, uh, before we make a final decision. So I'm still looking for my daily driver, but I want something that sounds insane, something a little bit different than my McLaren 570S. Yes. But go check out the old Corvette video from Vehicle versions. It's, uh, it's really fun and relaxed and a little bit different of a flair than his typical videos. Go check it out. And watch JR Go, one of the newer creators in our space and is absolutely crushing it with new subscription numbers uh, and really cool views. It's sort of very similar to Hoovy's Garage and how they buy older cars, except he does it on a budget level that is way, way below what Hoovy's Garage typically does. He bought a $135 Grand Prix GT. I want to make sure I said that right. From an army base. You got to watch this video. Watch JR Go is one of the coolest newer creators in our automotive YouTube space. Uh, you're missing out if you're not following his channel. And we haven't talked about Adam LZ in a little while, but his latest
this video is so refreshing and fun and relaxed, I felt like I had to mention it. I just had a big smile on my face the entire time I was watching it. It's his dad, Adam Elzey's dad, reacting to a drive in the Porsche GT3 RS. It's just so fun. It's like it's like everybody's dad like sort of reacting there. I'm like watching my own father in this video basically. It's really cool to be able to share supercars with our family members and that's why some of the videos of like having a mom or a dad or a sibling react to a particular car is so fun. We want to share things that are a lot of fun in our lives with our family members and that's why some of those videos are some of the most, I'm, I'm gonna say it, some of the most beautiful videos that exist in the automotive community. Go check out Adam Elzey's latest video. It's a really just fun wholesome video. Check it out. And G Gigi is considering doing her own, I guess, maybe YouTube channel. I'm not even going to try to pronounce Gigi's last name. Uh, we had a very short conversation on Instagram just recently. I think she reacted to something I posted, which is surprising since I have a very, very small Instagram account. I think we just hit 10,000, which is which is pretty good. At least I can do the swipe up feature now. Go check out Gigi's Instagram and make sure to shoot her a comment if you'd like to see her consider doing vlogging. She asked a little poll about it on Instagram. Uh, I think it was overwhelmingly yes, people want to see her. She's like 17 years old and drives a Porsche GT3. That's a pretty badass thing. I think when I was 17, I had a 1991 Camaro RS. Nothing, I mean, it was a really fun car, but it's not a Porsche GT3. So make sure to go check out Gigi's Instagram account if you want her to start vlogging. And that is gonna do it for today, guys. Remember, we are announcing the $2,000 giveaway winner on June 3rd. All the info for the giveaway, for what you need to do to enter uh, on all the official rules is in my info section of every video that I do. Feel free to go check it out. I'm excited to be able to give away two grand to one of my subs. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's really, it's kind of still surreal that we hit 100,000 subscribers and are still going now. It's like, I had this goal in mind for so long and now it's it's kind of like past and I'm like, what am I doing next? I guess I'm looking toward a million, which seems so far off. It's just in incredibly crazy to think about. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful Sunday. We've got a really pretty cool story to talk about on Monday. So uh, make sure to tune in. Catch you later, guys. Bye.